I'm going to give you a pro tip about dealing with graphing questions. As soon as you see something that's talking about coordinates and graphs and coordinate planes and all that, but you don't see a picture, draw one. So I'm going to draw a standard XY coordinate plane. This is going to help immensely. And I'm saying there's a circle on it with the center point at negative 1, negative 5. Okay, so that's like, I don't know, here. There's the center of my circle. If the points A and B are located on the circle such that they are collinear with point C, and, okay, that's a word salad, and the point A is located at negative 7. Okay, that's, that's information I can use right here. A is located right here at negative 7, negative 3. So that's going to be like, I don't know, right there or something. This isn't a scale. Which of the following coordinates describes the location of point B? So we have to use some of the information talked about in that last sentence, which is A and B are located on the circle such that they are collinear with point C. Well, what does collinear mean? That means they're on a straight line. So if I draw a line between A and B, and let's get some labels on here, actually, so I can stop messing this up. There's A, and there's C, and I know point B is on this line that's formed between the two of those. Oops, okay, my line's messy. Well, is it over here, or is it over here? Not really sure. But remember, there's a circle in this picture, and its center is at C. So the circle is going to look something like this. That's not bad. Well, if it's on the circle, it has to be here. I've, I've only got one choice. So that's great. Now I know where B is kind of located. We can figure out the location of it exactly in coordinates this way. See that line? It's a chord of a circle, and it passes through the center. It's supposed to anyway. I should have drawn it. It'll just make the center bigger. There we go. So it passes through the center. That means this is a diameter. And if it's a diameter, that means this distance right here, AC, is the same exact distance as BC. Which means, if I measure the x-coordinate of this thing, how far are we going in x between C and A? Well, it's CX minus AX. The C-coordinate, or the x-coordinate of C minus the x-coordinate of A. That distance right there is equal to, don't know why my screen's being weird, is equal to BX minus CX. Okay? Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, figure out why these things are the distances that I'm talking about, this, this stuff right here. And I'll just refer again to this equation. The line segment AC is equal to the line segment BC because those are two halves of, the, of a diameter. They're each the radius, in other words. So now we just plug in some points and figure out what this is. I know that C is located in the x direction, anyway, at negative 1. And A's x-coordinate is negative 7. B's x-coordinate, no idea, but I know that C's x-coordinate is negative 1. We already talked about that one. So I have an equation here, and we can solve this thing. I'm just going to make myself a little more room. Bring it over here. If we solve this equation, negative 1 minus negative 7. Well, that's negative 1 plus 7, and bx plus 1. So this becomes 6 equals bx plus 1, and that means minus 1 from each side, bx is 5. In other words, the x-coordinate of point b is 5. And I don't know what the y-coordinate is, but we can do the same thing using this equation as our starting point and just change it to the y-direction instead of the x-direction. But I'm not interested right now because knowing the x-coordinate with these sorts of problems is usually enough that identifies our answer right there.